Position. So I guess we need to first of all see, have Liquid changed their CT positions? NAF ramp, Skull's top anchor, twist towards main as your rotator, Kadian with the AWP all over the shop and your Kinder being yard. But let's get underway with the pistol round. Carrigan keeping up with this P250 in his hands that we've been seeing more and more of, but a tussle immediately into Kinder on rain. That exchange stays true. Yeah, but now they're all committing to ramp, so it's up to NAF and those dual Berettas. He's cut down empty-handed. It's up to Kadian. He concedes the space. And so FaZe have found a response to the early loss of rain. Towards the lower side, but two bodies have rotated down. We're ready to deal with this. There's going to be a fight. It's going to be frozen again, but jumping still gets accuracy. In combination with Brokey, the site is lost, and perhaps the round as well. Long range, dual Berettas, it's not ideal, and there's a demonstration. A chance for Skulls to try and throw one back, but now maybe save Ooh. would have been the better option. But Carrigan removes hit head, and now it is just Kadian who, well, he dropped Julie's, had a flash, it doesn't have Kevlar, so for him, kills is the best that he can hope for. Holding on, all he would do is deny them $300. And with FaZe Clan being nuke pickers, as it were, they are often starting on that T side, and so dream scenario, I imagine, is coming flying out of the gates and rocking and rolling with a pistol win. And you want something better than that? So far in this event, when they have been able to pick up the pistols, they're 100% in second round conversions. Yo, okay. Okay. Not just a pretty face, this Birchall. He's done some research. Just a little bit, just like Kadian in the uh, pre-game interview, right? Learning some Chinese, trying to get the crowd on his side. Never flex. And then Kadian, uh, sorry, Carrigan just keeps it simple. Yeah. Uh, a bit like the pistol round. Let's just go ramp, shall we? He even didn't fully invest. He had an extra 300 bucks in his back pocket. It's led to a nice and juicy Galil full util. And we are going to be seeing the uh, CT side choose to invest. Understandably so. I'm intrigued to see whether or not there's going to be some aggression. You know, you heard Kadian talking about how they're coming in with low pressure. Well, we'll see how long that lasts. Yeah, here he comes. It's a beeline. Here he comes. This is full lobby crunch. Robs is under so much pressure. I don't think you'll expect your kinder to already be passed. Ready across. Yeah, no, you're right. I think there's a potential for Robs to go down empty-handed here. Naf. Oh, never mind. There's the info. You'd think your kinder would have caught him here, but he's just going to wait. catch him. And he will certainly catch him off guard. And he's also heard these footsteps of Frozen. So Frozen's noted your kinder on the hunt. It's not loud, but definitely taking this space. The bomb from FaZe across. They have the secret control. Oh, Ooh. spotted him there, didn't he? Yeah, that's enough. Well, they're going to start heading back up secret. Looks like they want to go for this. Do they miss the main smoke or have they gone for it? Okay, they're trying to come in through main. Well, maybe not. It, maybe it is a miss smoke. I could see them wanting to smoke off main, try and make their way around heaven, take that space back because you knew Liquid took lobby then they would have to respond to lower because you had the secret space, and then the real estate that you think you'd have would be heaven and hell. I don't fancy Cadian's chances, though, if they do finish lower. Like, look, at what, what's this man to do? A, a Desert Eagle up against SMG's rifles. Two smokes main. It's limiting Carrigan's uh, options. He is just going to puff up his chest, and now it's up to Cadian and that Deagle. This is not going to be easy, folks. The second round conversion is about to be tested. Hey! As easy as that from Brokey. Second round conversion's 100%, you said. Seems that that... It's going to continue, despite what looked like quite a promising find towards Robs. The loss of Naf and the finish lower. It's all worked out wonderfully for FaZe. Well, just taking a quick look at what Team Liquid are going to carry through into round number three. A 5-7 can be dropped from Skulls, and Jewel Berettas can be dropped from Twist. So everybody will have something threatening. It won't be easy for FaZe into the next round of play. But this is the start they're looking for. There was a conversation about the ban from FaZe removing Ancient leaving Anubis open to see if Team Liquid would try and opt for the punish. And they have done. How much of a punish would you quantify that as? That's the thing. Yanko's having a big discussion at the moment about FaZe's map pool being in the mud and not really knowing exactly what it looks like. I think they're almost tailoring what they are leaving open to their opponents, right? So that they can just put in a bit of extra prep on Anubis going, well, it's likely they pick this. Right. Uh, same thing, obviously, the conversation we had with Vertigo over at the Major, but didn't work for them too well against Vitality. I think for Liquid, one of the keys for them, not only with Twist Factor, obviously, uh, there's a bit of unknown of exactly how this map looks for them, but I thought momentum would be a key because if Kadian can start getting fired up, we, we know that he loves it. I think it's important for your Kinder as well. So the fact that they've been stunted without the pistol, without the follow-up, it needs to begin on that first gun round. Unless they can make something work with these carried across upgrades. Ramp completely open for business right now. I mean, that's a calculated uh, omission. 
One would assume they'll have uh, at least considered that as a possibility. A few, oh, oh what's going a, on yeah, here? A few pieces of missed utility, but diligent with the flames. Ramp clear. They should just be able to finish down towards B. They've got more than enough smokes and mollies to restrict any pesky corridors the CTs may be hiding in. And then I imagine for Team Liquid, it's going to be about punishing this escape. Right, trying to make it as costly as possible. Like, sure, you get the third round, but how much do you bring through? How much do you have to reinvest? That's going to be the question. Yeah, being quite diligent as well. Broke even with the fake plant, trying to draw anybody out. And staying together, Liquid. So this really is just about damage. They're really chasing their tail. They don't know how much of the map they lost or if it was secret where they slipped. We can see it was predominantly ramp other than that frozen lurk in lobby. And nobody's home. We can see the logic here. They've made noise towards secret now, hoping that that spurs them to exit ramp. And that's where this squad is heading. Rain, however, is going to be the scout. And, well, finds one, but finds a bullet from Skulls. Rops, he's got an AK here. He can't afford to lose this. He doesn't want to stand it. And bang, it's good for Rops. He'll take the double. Everyone's saving their rifles. Oh, oh and Naf even going down to the bomb. So, yeah, everything is absolutely perfect so far. Pitch perfect from FaZe. Taking a look, I don't think an AWP is going to be available for Katie, and he's going to have to, have to operate on this first CT site gun round, just, just the M4 in his hand. Only lacking one incendiary on Kadian. But it needs to begin now for Liquid. So FaZe have done smoke walls towards Yard in the two anti-force slash eco rounds. So they want to keep up that game plan. Rumps towards Squeaky, the sound of blowing off the door. Deep in Sendry, they just have to wait that out. Heavy focus towards the outside here. Oh, and that's a big nade onto Rops. Good understanding of his preferences. He'll get away from the spam. But he's, he's, he's sole responsible for lobby. He's very good at this role. As Rain starts to clear out, he's almost ready for Yakinda's position. Kadian nullified. Rain's hunting. This is the fight, this is the fight. Yakinda off angle, spotted out and executed by Rain. A solid start to proceedings of round four. And that head to head is one where Rain is the absolute master. You made that look so just, easy. Yeah, it look, it felt like he had plenty of time to be able to correct it. There's a moment where his back was turned. Here comes the lobby bush. Oh, Skulls may have uh, squandered his opportunities there, falls back. Avoids the nade, Cadian pokes his face and... Oh, Carrigan was completely unprepared for the forward stance. It's a dink as well from Nav. Now it's Rob's tested. He'll get two. Brokey takes the round. The lobby push, so desperate. They've noted the bomb back lobby. They weren't accounting for Froze and the pressure towards ramp. 4-0 start from FaZe. I don't see any reason this will stop. Nobody clearing their corners, just the bloodlust. <laughs> I mean, come on. You've seen one, no, sorry, you've seen two towards Trophy. There was more than that. <laughs> Left alive, and you, Robs just gets two, not looking his way. You see, the thing is, in that moment, there's so much worry about the space being taken towards Yard, but it was just rain, essentially. Right. So they, they think, uh, okay, true. maybe there's more bodies, they've taken warehouse control, they want to try and work towards Main Heaven, even down Secret if they'd like. We need to take some real estate back. It's going to be a half-buy from Liquid. Scout in the hands of Naf. A couple of MP9 upgrades. Kadian. Your Kinder will chip in with some 5.7s. Just a sheer lack of frags at the moment. Two apiece for Skulls and your Kinder. One for Nav. Nothing for Twists. Nothing for Kadian. Need a feel good moment. Yeah. That's a good way to put it. Not sure how good it's going to feel going down the vents with a scout. Nav's been tasked with. Holding that slip, and in the meantime, Rain, he's going to clear his corners. He's going to take full control of the warehouse. You just see this type of decision. Like if we highlight things that they're doing well, they know they're up against a lighter buy. So making sure that they're not just, you don't just need to cross to secret and go against pistols and SMGs, you're going to use the range. So now you've got the AKs to take these longer range duels. If any fights do come your way, great. If not, you can start to work for a bit more space, exactly like Rain is doing right now. And yeah, they look comfortable. See if Twist can get himself on the board as well, up against his former team. Oh, hello. Has he got... 
He's definitely spotted just the tip. Come on. Just the Come tip. On, boy. There you are. See ya. There's his first twist. He'll find Carrigan. The round disintegrates for Liquid, albeit just a partial. Has it felt like they've had a chance in any of these so far? No. He's a bomb. Oh, cheeky on the ladder from Skulls. But Rain will just adjust. And comfy for the fifth. Love to get some fireworks. All right, China after all. I'm trying to recap how Liquid got to this stage. It was uh, only Mao's that could bring them down a peg, but G2. The heroic win was ancient. Heroic, we covered that. Yeah. That was uh, the all ancient Monday. And a full three mapper up against G2, which Liquid managed to convert. However, no Inferno and no Ancient. This is where the desk was talking about it. The veto again favoring phase. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Harry, so we I'm just want to. The people at home want to see you. Um, we just want to adjust the camera. We've uh, definitely experienced how popular FaZe are. Oh gosh, haven't we? You and I waltz in the streets back and forth in the venue every day. There's a, a couple of fans who do the translating for the FaZe fan club. Yeah. Here in China. And, uh, Handwritten letters. Yeah, there was a, a Juice World CD. CD for Rops from Jerry. Shout, Shout out, out Jerry. to Jerry. Okay, goals. Yep, no, never mind. A bullet immediately finds him thanks to Rops. He feels like his mission's accomplished as his team surged towards Yard. Very diligent stuff so far from FaZe. Yakinda, he's got him borrowed in towards Secret. This could lead to a multi-kill. It's very unlikely he gets overlooked, but they're about to molly, and then I assume... Oh, no! They've mollied Yakinda out! He's burning down! It's so easy for FaZe! Diligent, I said the word. There's a demonstration. And this is also where... Oh, The man. switch gets flicked. Because you look at FaZe in group stage, and you have the discussion about all the finals they've been in. This is... I know it's a trope, but there's a reason that... Uh, the cliches ring true. This is a stage team. This is a team that enjoys playing Counter-Strike the most in front of a crowd when the pressure is on. But this is now single elimination. They're in the quarterfinal. You win oh. three best of threes. You lift the trophy. Look at that perfect spacing as well. They just peek together in unison. It's Naf okay. actually stepping up. Time might become an issue. It's certainly good. Oh, he goes in for another. Brokey, good to it. Six and zero. Now it makes Cadian's life a living hell. They're taking the bomb lower. He's up, and he's not got the weapon for this. If he's really aware, he might expect a lobby lurker. Traditionally good in the clutch, Cadian, but here's the issue. He's saving. Yeah. And Ka Well, no, he's not. <laughs> da -da. He just takes a, da -da. a, bit of a lean back in the chair. Da -da. Boys, da -da. I know where he is. I know exactly where he is. I mean, Cadian's going to beat this. There you go. The rest of them are coming. Yeah, he's going to get ahead of this. Flashes. Diligent on the hunt, aren't they? Wait, oh, there's a conversation. Okay, they're going to go for a flash and a peek. Going yeah, the elevated All as right. well. I like it, I like it. They really want to take this away from KD. He's only got 200 bucks, this AWP. <laughs> Trying to take it out of his hands. And as that bomb blows up, they're closing the gap. He's missed it. Got to stay game face on, but it already feels like it's uh, it's a tall order. 6-0. This is T-side nuke we're talking about. And Faze, they're not going to let off the gas. They're not going to give you anything for free. What a luxury that is to have a full 40 seconds for the hunt and you know exactly where he is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can, Ray's like, oh, no, let me just go on the roof. We'll, we'll be really diligent about this. Use your flash. Just take your time. No dramas. And Team Liquid back down to another partial. Smooth sailing so far here from FaZe Clan. Oh, they're looking to make a bit of a play here. Clearing the smoke. Rob's better be ready. Again, this time Skulls has gotten the frag from Hut Aggression, and he might not stop. He'll at least take the rifle. Thinks better of pushing the limits. Openers have felt few and far between for Team Liquid. Yeah, that's one. We'll take that. Can they build a round out of it? Bearing in mind, it is that partial, as you highlighted. Well, that's going to rot the clock, a solid 20 seconds. That will bring us to about 60-second mark. What's the f phase finish 
Green Park towards red. I think they have to transition back through yard, and they are. There are two smokes available, one on Robson, one on Brokey, so they could do just the standard smoke wall to get across. Then they're going to be on the clock for the finish of the round. You already have Cadian down towards B. Can you kind of get any early info? That was something. Oh. This is something as well. Oh. And they don't need to use those smokes. Job done. Uh, try and get down the vent. Come on. Oh, he's so good. He's so comfortable, both on the Beat. stage. Yeah, katie has been here the whole time. He welcomed the vibe with Napfly. It's another from Kadian. Is this Liquid's first? Despite the heroics from Rain, his awareness was on. But he's got 20 seconds. There's nothing here for him. I think he's just opted for the save. Yeah, look, down. I mean, look at the bomb. Completely locked off from any consideration. And that will be round number one for Team Liquid. Comes in the most unlikely of fashions. Thank you very much, Skulls, for the opening exchange. Well, like Rain had done enough, didn't he? But the crossfire, Naf responding towards lower, joining with Kadian. And well, there you have it. Their first round on the stage. Sometimes the first one's the hardest. They can still salvage the half. Look, six, it's not great, but it'll do. And I think that expression there from Kadian helps with that sentiment. You're kind of trying to get them fired up. And they may have made a couple of fans. Brokey and Frozen setting up a smoke wall. Rain looking to use that to take some space. Kadian across to red. Kinder to try and bait him in, but Melty has to extinguish and get out. Oh, Rain, he's talking, he's crawling, he's moving. And look at this, two flashes. Carrigan wants to try and punish top. Skulls safe from the flashes. It's a double from Skulls. Locking and loaded. It's a triple! Four from Skulls! The last bullet. Can Rob come up? Clutchy very well could. A quick double. Nuff is oh. there, and it's a solid headshot. Big from the Brazilian. Oh, the smile on his face. It was a stunty little thing, though. The four. Let me see that one again. Imagine this with no x-ray. This guy's gaming. One. Lovely. Look at his bullets. 13. Handles brokey. Six. And see you later. Oh, 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 <laughs> it's literally oh, oh. the last bullet. Nasty from Skulls. That one will inspire confidence in an individual player with a massive round, and the crowd likes that. Oh, he spotted him. So they have info on Brokey. Whether or not they know it's the AWP, yet to be determined. Can break the finances of phase with the wind liquid. Had to do it the hard way. They've been able to accrue a bucket load of cash. Six on the trot makes an awful lot of sense, and they were doing it with ease. Oak, where's that one off to? Yeah, that one's gone in the backyard. Why don't you ask mum if you can jump the fence? <laughs> Excuse me, sir. There you go. Perfect. And that's where the smoke was meant to land. Good point. They've been punished for that misstep. Robs. Oh, loud about it. Didn't manage to catch the ladder. And with the loss of Brokey, Chad, this is taking shape. We might have a game after all. What could Robs get up to? They heard him. Oh, have they? He's coming up secret. Two players towards me. Oh, and Frozen, a perfect distraction. Maybe there is something to be said about this. Great Molly forces him down. Oh! Down, Carrigan. Good timing on this flank. I don't think they'll be ready for this. It's only an MP9, though. He's considering it. Yakinda's walking with Skulls onto rocks. That distracts them on the repeat through. Carrigan, Frozen, solid. Spotted one credit. Flash and push. Cadian's elbow baits the shot. Carrigan dips into main. It's an open round. Out to B. He can do it. He'll get the plant. Yeah, that's perfect. And now Frozen can play as well. He'll be audible about it. Carrigan piecing together a clutch here. Frozen. The one to fill the twist shoes. Looking to seize and save the round. Cadian taking the orb down. Vent is a death sentence, surely. He's asking for trouble, is Cadian. He has to go second. He, he can't play first. It's a tough retake now. They're so sporadic. Twist from Ramp. Frozen holding. This is the fight. Skulls in trouble. Should be a dead man. Kadian had tried, did tried his luck. He's gone down. Skulls to follow. And they've recovered this one. That's impressive. 
between the two of them, Carrigan and Frozen, that's five kills despite an early two-man discrepancy. We're talking, yeah, 5v3 situation. Yep. Oh, I can't let that one With go, Liquid. With a missed Liquid. smoke. And the thing is, they had them boxed in completely. That's why they were pushing, that's why they were flanking. Yeah, I'd take a timeout after that one too. You, those are the ones you, you've, you've got to convert. I felt like you had done the hard work to get back into the game. You win a half investment, Skulls goes huge on a top defense. You get yourself a two-player advantage, Phaser missing smokes. And then you hand your asses over on a silver platter. And you have to take a second tactical timeout to discuss how you got here. Oh. I think reds are good. Well, the Murakami just flexing on us. I've been trying to translate a bunch of the signs. I think there was one that says, Your Superman Twists. Yeah, that was a good one. Yep. To the point. We're ready to get ourselves underway. That's a real tiller from Team Liquid, just as we thought. That 3v5 had kind of secured what could have been, you know, a, a 6-4 given the finances as you highlighted, but no, instead it's Team Liquid having to pull up their socks with five sevens. I've done it once, can they do it again? That Skulls opener, which was their second opener so far in the half. Let's see if they can find another. But that chance to get back into map number one, it does feel like it slipped through the fingertips. Faze look comfortable, don't they? Very comfortable. I mean, like you said, this is where they, uh, where they are the most focused. This is kind of what you're chasing. This is what you play for. Then there's a reason that they are so consistently making playoff runs. It's a product of that. Yeah, I think to, to put it in a few more words, it's essentially like the adrenaline dump that you're getting from playing on the stage. This is the bit that makes you feel alive. Yeah. The group stage matches probably feel more like work. Whereas this is where it feels like fun. And that's probably why the RMRs make everyone uncomfortable, because it's like it's work, but it has to be fun. They have to take this one. Okay, now fly! A double with the pistol. Press for time, 25. Yeah, I mean, it's still not going to be easy once that bomb goes down. We've seen how difficult it can be to retake for Liquid. Now, your kind is down here at 18 seconds, so... You can't really stop the plant, and they're not even going to announce their presence. Da taking down Carrigan, it sweetens the pot. Oh, and the info on Frozen, that goes one way. Yakinda, what can you do with this? Brokey's going to spot you out. That's a big find, good cover. They know where Frozen and Brokey are. And Skulls has a rifle, but Brokey's got frags. Frags on frags. Triple kill from the Latvian. Skulls spotted out, going for the taps. Can he have another hero moment? There's no kit, and I think there's no chance. Oh, spotted there as well, exiting Skulls. Penny drops, has to get out of dodge. And we'll make that eight for Faze on the T side. He'll take that one. Oh, Naf did everything he could. Two kills towards round five, seven, packs a punch. They didn't contest when the bomb was getting planted down towards B. That's an opportunity where it feels like you have a bit of an advantage, but maybe not accounting for the loose piece of Carrigan towards Squeaky. Necessary trade from Brokey, impactful round from Brokey. Yeah, and you heard the desk discuss it as well. Uh, it tends to be when Brokey's on form, that's the signifier that Faze are in like championship form. We do have that Brokey AWP playing anti-flash, but it was a little delayed and he's been caught off by it. I can't believe Yakinda's trying this again, despite the uh, Molotov death in the previous. It's an interesting setup that orb because it knows it's going to get smoked off and just circumnavigated is playing ramp. Oh, 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 oh. Your has to win this head to head. But it's rain, dude. Rain, this is his playground. That's where he does his best work. They're actually going to erect the boost, get Brokey up on red, and this is where your has to win this. He's gotten away with one. Taking down rain. That's huge. Repositions. Get away from the molly. Go on, your Feeling himself now. Oh, Naf on the jiggle finds Carrigan in the back of the head. He takes him down. Now they've got a 3v5. I just need to hold on to this. Naf can be isolated. He has no support whatsoever. And oh, Brokey with a missed shot should be able to find Frozen. So 
drawn one back, 50 seconds. They know Rops lurks towards Lobby. Kadian's starting to go on the offensive towards Ramp. He's pivoted that AWP. Yakinda knows they're not down B. What is this? Pressure on top. Goals backside twist in a uh, first port of call. Oh, he didn't spread. It didn't, but it doesn't matter. Because they down twist. They're still going to clear him. Rops. He is so comfortable today. Yeah, oh, dear. One HP. What a bullet. Could have done it. Now, Kadian. Oh, he's in the clutch. He could have done something. The pistol to finish. They had no idea Brokey was so low. Despite that dink coming through from Nav. I thought you just laughing it off of your face. Yeah. They haven't, they're having, like, yeah, no pressure right now. And you can see the face of Katie, and that's a Listerine face. Fresh off the mouthwash. The thing is, Nav's position and the setup they had was creative in the sense that your kinder with taking that type of content, you're not, uh, contact, you're not expecting a player to be red pole at all. So he grabs one, but then he's isolated, and no support came to help him. They just kind of hung him out to dry. So then he gets isolated, he goes down, and then Brokey taking a leap of faith in towards Tom. Oh, his aggression. Went in down, push. And they found Rops early. That's a gift. I mean, this now immediately becomes a must-win round. Yakinda banged out. Oh, what? The double wall bang through Unbreakable. Sure, Unbreakable, but not Unbangable. Such a 10 rounds first half before we head into the break. <laughs> you got T-side round. And then oh. you get to start T-side on Anubis. Oh, no. This could be very... The outlook's bleak, Chad. The outlook is bleak for Liquid now. Can't imagine this is fun for twists as well. One frag on your first half of play. I think last time he played, which was has... back at the blast groups against the Mon Duke, he was top frag. Yeah. And it was a close game. This is not close at all. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Glad you're here. Pointing out the uh, key points in yeah. matches of Counter-Strike, well, aren't I? Uh, it's hard to dispute that this is a key point. On four, 40 seconds. Going up in towards the heavens. Skulls monitoring it. Twists also combined. Oh, I'm worried for Twist here. Oh, never mind. He does well. Combined with Skulls, he's got another multi kill. Good to see Skulls on form, but where's the rest of them? 20 seconds. Scoops up the bomb. Frozen drops straight into Cadian. And they'll take three. Three CT rounds, it does not seem sufficient. Let's find out if it is.
Me, howdy, we're back for I am Cheng Du. We're into the playoffs. It is our second game of our first day in the arena with the crowd. The crowd getting goodies. A phase fan, lucky winner of a jersey and a processor. I'm sure they'll be happy with that. You can see Harry as well with a big smile on his face. Santa Claus just changed his hair color. Yeah, basically, a Santa Claus with a mullet as well. That's a um, little lesser known fact. About Keeping the, up with uh, the times. Yeah, exactly. The modern day Santa Claus. But we've got Team Liquid who would need really, uh, I don't know, a crazy twist of fate. Maybe phases monitors get Christmas turned off. Christmas miracle. Yeah, Christmas miracle. Oh dear, Rain Krampus just spoils the party already. That's nice back. A goosh. Rops is rotating up the secret Look stairs. at all the support coming. It's all coming. Hang on, maybe Skulls could do something. There is a back turn. Carrigan, he's overlooked that possibility. So Skulls will find us into a 3v3. Maybe, or oh, maybe not. Okay. Twist on the P250. Throwing hands. He needs this one. He has to win this duel. Just to get his own confidence boosted. He may even consider this. It looked like he was for a minute. What a recovery this would be. A double kill from Twist, make it three. He's on the board, folks, and Liquid maybe, just maybe, making a case for this T side. All right, that one's going to taste good around where they were in the disadvantage that they turned on its head. Some tidy shots. Both teams hitting a couple of crispies. And Skulls with another impactful one. A fun fact about Skulls in that first half, every round he got the opening kill, they converted. All right. So, you know, we're not dealing with a large sample size. No, but, but it sounds good. His impact yeah, was absolutely. converted upon. Phase forcing against Liquid. Now, this is a team that have only played Nuke, what, nine times? Going up against a team uh, with a core dating back to 2021 that have played Nuke almost 100 times. Yeah. So these second rounds are very hard. Oh, especially when Brokey does that. He gets two with a 5-7 from the boost position. And if Rops gets one here, Twist, how ready are you for this? How ready against your ex-teammate, Ropsicle? Playing that angle, Twist, has he got the patience against the most patient in the server? There is no hurry here, and you've got the bomb on your back. There is such a burden of responsibility on Twist in this round. Rops has actually receded. So now it's about the Team Liquid finish. If you're Cadian, calling from the grave, why are you taking this? You know that Frozen and Carrigan are traditionally top holders, but it is a force, so things are very different. They are still sprawling into lobby. It's going to come down to timing on NAF's clear. Doesn't look like they want to try and chase this down. So Twistle, oh, he wanted to apply pressure towards B. That's actually just made things tougher. Still baits in Frozen. Big find, NAF big one profits. from NAF. Yeah, he gets Carrigan, top sight's open. Naf has the bomb, he's in no hurry, just making sure they know Rops could be anywhere. I think with how it went down towards ramp quite early in the rounds, right, with the boost, and it was Brokey up there, you think Rops has got to be Brown. somewhere sniffing about. Wow, I mean, they really managed to recover that. Considering the way Brokey started it off, it's a convincing recovery. I'm surprised Frozen got baited into that play because the smoke missed. So Rops has obviously called Util thrown at ramp, but the smoke had blocked off one side. Towards lobby, yeah. And But Frozen is starting to make the play off of the info. And yeah, yeah. yeah, finds himself a bullet in the side of the head thanks to Naf. Rops to retain the MP9. Well, that was uh, compulsory. Liquid to make it a four-round game. T-side nuke, though. I mean, I felt like the bar was set in uh, impossibly high. Base clan with nine, so we'll find out when the guns come out. I said that they'd played it nine times. I'm sure that they played it seven times. Seven total seven, officials. Seven, seven officials. Yeah. I mean, there's definitely a bit of a discrepancy oh, there. Huge. In there. Now, we will have to wait, hopefully, if you're a Liquid fan, until the gun round to see just how much longer this comeback can really persist. Yeah. Not going to stop me being excited about it. However, how realistic is it? This one is a, should be a gimme. I think that's landed exactly where you can do us opening off the rip. Ah, well, it's not going to matter, is it? <laughs> it's all part of the plan. They're going to lay a more utility on top. They've grabbed the space very early. And a similar conversation as we were having in the first half of play. 
using these rifles at range against the lighter investments. Only really going to get it past the MP9 of Rops. A couple of P250s can be pesky. Oh. The distraction breaking the vent. Enables and facilitates. Oh, Rain nearly had twist there. Look at that HP. A bit frustrated with that one. Yeah, understandably. Not that it, like, it wins him the round, but it certainly will. Oh, 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 God! Rain! Uh, my win in the round. He is dangerous. You better play this one smart. Look at that, double smoke. I'm not sure if that qualifies. Oh, make it triple smoke? Yeah, why not? This will keep their eyes glued. They're both looking that way. This gets potentially dangerous. Yeah, looking for damages. Rain or oh. no. no? Understandable. An AK-47, very valuable asset. All right, gonna bring it into the next. Well, good damage. Three bodies in the grave. E250 underrated. Nice and cheap. $300 price point. Good bang for your buck. Well, Liquid will retain the AKs on Twist and Yakinda. Drops not necessary. Skulls could even equip. Cadian with an AWP if that's how they'd like to proceed. Nice little manufactured opener. Fantastic trade from Skulls. Would you say that Skulls is uh, overperforming based on what's expected to be required of him? You've got Twists Yakinda on his on this team. His Twists Yakinda impact in the game yeah. for the rounds they have. Yes. So like, this far. is this is really good. Really promising from Skulls. Good to see him you know, turning up on the big stage game. But can they translate it into anything substantial? I'm just running the Org first gun round. Roki has the AWP. We had the discussion of if Cadian would like it. Apparently not. Yeah, so you start the York down secret. It's going to mean he's going to have a rain responsible from main. Also means they're just completely foregoing yard fights. Right. So if they would like to take the space, you can have it. It means that they can respond to top hits a bit quicker. What's this? Two silo? Like, are they both dropping main roof? There's some util to be lined up. This is an interesting approach from Cadian. Here we go, set piece. Warehouse smoke, lockers, and twists. Oh, cut down, trying his own old tricks. Rain wise to the game. That saved AK, draws first blood. It's going to be rekindled to claw it back. That smoke limits Rops' contributions. He's through. Oh, Skulls. Skulls has to win this duel. He can't do it. Frozen too strong. Big opportunity. Oh, even bigger opportunity for Nafly. Gets them both down. And Rocks will find Kyakinda's progress. We've got an intense 2v2 here, folks. Pressure on Liquid. Brokey's done nothing. He's been in those vents the whole time, and it doesn't matter when Rops is rocking and rolling with the air org. Naf has an impactful double, but can he come up clutch? Finds the bomb and looking to plant. Will Rops run him down? Broke up the fence and nails the shot. Naf just didn't know where to look. Naf fortunate again with that timing. That double makes the round seem doable. Frozen caught looking the wrong way yet again. Very important. Rops finds that kill onto your kid. Up. Great impact on the org and well, Brokey up the vent. Nice shot in the back of Naf and will secure double digits first round for the CT side. Posted for phase. Liquid will be buying in. Kadian has brought out the T-side AWP. Naf and Skulls just working with Tech Nines. Squeaky Dorm not blown off. It's gone late. Trying to catch him in transition. I think frozen towards the top side is an individual that you can try and bully. This isn't his comfort zone. Back on Mouse, he would be playing Rain's position of yard. But the more matches, the more reps he gets under his belt, I think he'll be more than sufficient in this position. Squeaky Lurk Smoke. He's going to play ahead of it. Taking a glance out yard was Rain. Rops as well with the Org. He's perfectly situated for this duel. If anything, it favors Rops with that scope. Can he take down twists? He's so ready. So active. He's got Rain to react off his first contact. Squeaky. Can't be smoked again from Rops. He's the last one with the key util. Oh, wow. Both finding headshots, but the AK reigns supreme. It's Rops. 
gets the equalizer, gets away. That's promising signs for a phase 11. Skulls unprepared ahead of the util. Carrigan back of the site, away from the orb line. Cajun's not going to get anything here. That was an issue. Real make a decision. big issue. Naf coming out. Knows there was one towards the hut, but Frozen's finding his angles, managing his angles incredibly well. And no scope, sure, but it's not going to translate into anything else. 14 seconds trying to save the orb. Nice one on the way back. You can't do anything with this. Eight seconds. Garrigan down. Wait, maybe they can. Bums in spawn. Bums oh, in spawn. Round's he's gone. done. Oh, damn. Now, nah, at least he gets away. He saves the rifle. It's something. But there's an 11. And it costly. Kadian thinking it was already over. What are you meant to get done with just a Tech 9 and a low AWP? He thought absolutely nothing. Backed off, wanted to save. Naf almost made a miracle happen. Yeah, if only he'd thrown the bomb as he left. Really well played by Frozen here. They've kept themselves in it for a moment worth of conversation, at least Team Liquid. It's even put pressure on FaZe to have a 30 second tactical timeout. Their first so far, it's been quite a walk in the park for them on Nuke. But there's a reason Nuke is their playground. Oh, for sure. You're seeing it in their CT setups as well. Like, it's so limiting. Liquid's options. Zeus on the mic. Also part of the uh, Brazilian era. LGSK. And his second stint on Liquid. Well, they have to shove Liquid. You don't really have an option. They're buying behind the saved A A1, sorry, and AWP of Cadian. Needs to find impact with it now, though, the Danish in-game leader. Towards Ram, gets a head-to-head. -head. Just takes a pot shot. Wasn't far off. You're just going to try and lurk through this as opposed to... It's not the weapon for the job, is it? The Desert Eagle gets himself across. Well, that does force the respect. Carrigan with the MP9 has dropped down towards the lower. Kadian now on top of main with the AWP. Still has to find rain. They don't know where he is towards back of warehouse. They're searching. They know that the Orpa broke. He's also in play. Rain should have a couple here. And oh, good work, good awareness. So they've found Rain. That gives them room to stretch their legs. Brokey dropping in. That opens up a little bit of an option towards heaven. Secret held. You better be good with this one, you kid. Oh, Carrigan. That's nothing. Drops can respond from ramp. No util in terms of smoke, so he will have a sight line. Rops, they got the info. Good jiggles out of Yakinda. Worried about round flank 20 seconds. They do need to get this bomb down, Nav. And they'll be allowed to do so. Yeah, okay. But Skulls is just sticking around. He's going to slip on down the vents to secure the round. Kadian even finding Rops. <laughs> That's naughty. The AWP, the one going around towards hell, being that late lurk. It's risky maneuver from Kadian, but this round pays off. Oh, Frozen. Hello. Didn't spot him. I think the barrel of the gun. <laughs> what? He made such a loud yeah, step on the ladder. Yeah, felt like it. All right, well, uh, Brokey, we saw this one before. It was actually Kadian trying to save. Skulls knows where he is. They won him. How many are they good coming? horses. It's the whole team. Galloping. Better be a good flash. It's a good flash. Forced back. Another decent one. He's tucked in. They're going to overwhelm him. Oh, lovely. Zeus is amped after that one. You got five alive. You've taken away the AWP. And the residual effects of NAF's Tech 9 late in the previous round has echoes. FaZe, they are broken as far as the finances are concerned. 2,400 into the next round. They might have to relinquish an eighth to Team Liquid. And great impact from Cadian. The only way after those initial exchanges went down was if Rops was fighting towards B as they were trying to entry in towards the site. The fact that he gave up control, there was never going to be a chance that they could retake that scenario. So Liquid, you just need to pump this one. Don't overcomplicate it. Got all the advantages. Look at the rifles, Alex. They have four A1s. <laughs>
They'll take that. <laughs> Four eight ones. Yeah, they're saving their pennies. I don't think I've seen that before. So the opposite. <laughs> yeah. It's opposite day. What did we call it? Was it a, was it a royal flush? The royal flush. So is this a full house? This is definitely the, the uh, equivalent. Oh. Well, you know where Twist is. Up to his usual antics on main roof. Just existing is going to keep the uh, CTs looking. You just want to take those fights, though, don't you? Just USPs. Come on. Here he comes. Thank you very much. Good flashes from your kinder. On the anti-eco. I like the awareness from Twist. There's probably more. Carrigan has found a little bit of a timing through lobby. No one's ready for him, but it's a quick reaction. Good work from Naf. Might be able to keep all five alive. Important for Liquid down the stretch. Oh, the crisp one from Mr. Casper. He's got the Zeus of Brokey to find. Everyone's so hyped for this. <laughs> and down he goes. Okay, well, five alive again. Don't leave him hanging, thank you. Yeah, two rounds back to back with everybody staying alive means that there's a nice little reservoir of cash. So does the full house lead to some interesting dynamics in terms of smoke fights? There's no longer going to be any tracers for these T's. I wonder if we're going to be able to see... They can spam back more. Yeah. Carrigan's having to operate with an MP9 again, and he's been having a good tournament as far as in-game leader fragging output is concerned. This game, not so much. He had issues during the group stage where his players were letting him down, and it felt like he had to do it all. Well, now he has to... I want to say call them out of a hole. I understand that he is on the CT side, but he still gets to kind of pick their shots or pick their stacks. He can also try and read into how they want to try and finish these rounds. So he will need to find some impact. The rest of his teammates are all in the teens as far as the frags are concerned, and Team Liquid are slowly catching up. The Skulls impact apparently in the first half is enough to get Team Liquid into this game. What does the opener for FaZe look like on the defense? Oh, Goes yeah. at main. Rain back of warehouse. And a miss smoke. He's in a few of those. Brokey noisily to make his way up secret. They're going to have to redeploy a second wall. Here we go. It's Carrigan. Audible. Stepping out of heart, but it's all just a bit of a deception. Frozen responsible to keep hold of the squeaky walk. It's your kinder. Does he really? Expect rain again by Paul. Oh, he's actually managed to find a little bit of opportunity. This is brilliant from Yakinda. Top's in trouble. Most definitely. I mean, Froze, you can see he's forced to worry about this. Oh, no, he gives him the fight. No trade potential. Yakinda, that's a fumble. Yeah, and when, when Squeaky was smoked off, they couldn't really support him. I think he was worried because the main smoke was going to fade. He would have been in the open, oh, had to make a play. Knowledge that. This is an opportunity back of Frozen. Earth. Steps, it's beautiful. Again, Skulls. Can't stop singing the praises of the South American. It's Carrigan, four frags. It's a quiet day in the office from the IGL, and it better not be here. He has to be loud. It's all Carrigan on that top side. One. Oh, and a second from Carrigan. Now it's Brokey's turn. They've done it. 2v4, just like that. A 12th round appears out of nowhere, and Liquid, that's face to palm. Put him under the spotlight. So he didn't have the contributions as we had seen throughout the group stage, and he steps up massively. The opening kill, sure, you can understand what your kind is getting up to there, but Carragher being able to pivot, not trade it. And then Brokey up the vent again, this time without the AWP in hand. A lot more nimble, a lot more mobile. And that's the 12. Happy with that, Mr. Finn Anderson. It is precision on that MP9. Needed to be. Okay, Liquid. Four on the trot, demanded. If they want to see overtime map one, it's FaZe's pick and could very well be FaZe taking this map if this round doesn't go to plan. Your kinder foiled in the last. Cadian's called a ramp test. They've really come in into Rops' to me. Oh, he's so no. blind. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Nah. He got two team flashes He's going to be so mad. That was like a six-second white screen. And he was entering with the bomb. That call came in quick. Yeah, I mean, they've managed to trade it out. Oh, I don't think they know oh, about your kid Oh, yeah, they don't. Oh, he gets both. This is a higgledy-piggledy round right now. And they can break the finances of 
the phase again. They certainly could, but I wouldn't write out Brokey and Frozen. This one's opened the doors. Back in the vent, is he really going to do it again, Brokey? This is where you've been living. Little tunnel monster. Where are you going? They're up heaven. Frozen's locked out for now. Oh, he's going to... Singed on the toes. Uh, it's a lick of flame. He'll try and plan for heaven. This is a good play. Twist. He's going to be the last component. He's just going to chill. Do you give it a go? You talked about their finances. You will now. Frozen's done a lot there. Kadian, however, will take him out. Yeah, that's enough. He's seen enough. As much as you know, Brokey wants to give it a go. They need something into the next round of play. So the 1900 loss bonus available. So Liquid will survive. Yakinda, the fact that he gets past. So this outside battle we highlighted at the start of the day, right? With the CT setup, he's the yard player on the T side, also taking that space. So he's going to have all these head-to-heads with Rain. Holding his own. That's an impactful round. Yeah, it's exactly. Especially in response to what seemed like a bit of a misplay. In the previous, it's going to be a confidence booster for him. But, I mean, confidence is definitely a necessity at this stage of the game. You can see this getting the second as well. A little bit of... Missed shots from Carrigan. I, I actually think for FaZe, it feels quite tough for them to continue with the lobby pushes because when we've seen it happen, they tend to get caught off guard. So they're not able to just go through the standard flow chart of what happens when they use that, lose that yard space. Oh. That's likely why we saw Rain having to go back out with 360 degrees, well, 270 degrees worth of angles to have to clear. Someone get the protractor out. Or is it the compass? Can't spell protractor without pro. Straight out is Yakinda, and maybe, oh, maybe not for Frozen. Oh, wow. It's a good time to pull out the Mac 10. It shows an understanding of his opponent's money. A special armor oh. on there, didn't he, for a moment? Well, that AWP of Brokey is now completely marooned. He won't be having it into the next round with only 2,400 loss bonus available. So let's call it double digits. I can't quite believe this T side of Liquid. Pistol, conversions, lost the first gun round, lost the follow-up, broke back in. And it's led us here. No AWP and for Brokey. And it was the saved AWP of Kadian in that round where Naf got those kills on the Tech 9. He walked away with an A1S, Kadian kept his AWP, and since then they've been able to keep phasing this washing machine. The tumble dry cycle. And around they go. Where this one stops, nobody knows. Overtime available. Ball focus for Liquid. Tantalizingly close now. I hope you can upgrade away from the Mac 10. I know he made it work just then, but when your back's pressed against the wall, he has done. Frozen probably punch at the desk. <laughs> the fact he even has the time to pull out the Glock, uh, making him look a little bit silly. See how Kadian really made sure he had that shot, not rushing things. Only three incendiaries to stall things out for FaZe. One on Frozen, one on Carrigan. Both of those likely to be used over towards the top side. Robs will likely use his towards ramp as well. So no deep Molotov available outside for Rain to stall out their crawls. One boost from Yakinda. He slipped in close towards main already. A twist decoy. Oh! oh! Through the smoke, through the head. You get the dead. It's one back from Skulls. Good cover. Brokey will trade. Avoids the nade, does nap. They want to keep the pressure on. Oh, no. He's lost his head as well. It's raining yard. Of course it is. Oh, that's a Cadian maneuver. <laughs> He's taken the bomb. Had to take the heroic out of the boy. Yeah, I know. But look at this. He has to nail this shot onto Brokey. Get the bomb down. Sure. 2v4 to keep Nuke going. This is a Cadian classic, isn't it? Do something completely out of the box and make a statement. It's going to test phase. You've got the numbers. Frozen's waiting to catch. Naf on the descent. He gets away with his life. Now Cadian connects. They have to worry about this. Oh! Cadian nails it. Two on four. Now a two on two. They're cooking. Naf with just a scrap of health. If Cadian gets another, they're on. And he's nailed it onto Rops. Casper Kadian Muller, when they needed him most, has pulled it off and a big grin on his face because he knows what he's done. Kadian rules everything around him. Absolute cream right there. And exactly 
is what he's known for. I got chills. Well, we got the greatest showman on one side of the server, that's Carrigan. Oh, man, it was a bit hectic. And but... now Cadian putting on a show. Now, that's exactly the way his clutches go down. <laughs> you can see it. His brain just whirring straight down the vent, just his vent dive. Ah, guys, we're probably going to lose this round. It's 2v4. How about I get down that vent? How about I get that bomb? Time out. Yeah, I would too. Neo just basically saying, boys, that's going to happen. That's going to happen. You've got something. Oh, Chad, they haven't got everything. That's the that's the deal, right? The finances on the CT side down the stretch is never going to be easy. And Rain did so much. Found the lurk of Yakinda slipping in close behind the main smoke. Even found twist on top of main roof. Thought that statement alone was more than enough, but they found a way. They found a solution. It still all ends. Liquid. This has been a heroic comeback. It has nine T rounds set up by FaZe and Liquid one round away from responding in kind. Smoke wall. SMGs, you want to try and find some early disruptive play. That's, oh, Rain! Doesn't matter what weapon he has, he finds something. Cadian forced to call from the grave. Did he have no head armor? He must have. He had 6K. Nice. I didn't know if he did or didn't, but well, his head looked like it exploded like a watermelon. Yeah, either way. Long range SMG, it seems like the only explanation. Frozen forced away by the flame. It's good to see Frozen down towards lower. Might be a little bit more comfortable. We can all rotate a roll. And here. Now for the bomb secret stairs. There's two more players already lower, so this likely will be a B finish. It's more what can Skulls get up to in lobby? Are they going to let him play first, or is he a late activation? Well. Starting to leer forward towards ramp. There is an open runway. All of the pressure will be applied to Frozen. There's one of the two M4s remaining. There is Util available to take this lower site from Liquid. Plenty of mollies, but can Frozen stop them right here, right now? Concerned about ramp. Should be. Understandably. Now he's been spotted out. Oh, still gets one. It's now back. Low site taken. Liquid punching in the code. Are they really going to respond with 90 rounds of their own? Skulls, hard clear. Rob's not looking. It's going to be one. Quick trade available for Yakinda. He delivers. Brokey just sends the vents. Is it all lost? Is it all for naught? Has Cadian's clutch secured it for Liquid or can Brokey do the impossible? We're going to overtime. This is what Liquid needed, a spark, not the start that this team was looking for. Formed of stars. Well, they've been grounded right now, looking to ascend. This is fantastic work to bring it back against FaZe. A miserable start to this map, their map choice. But they have had individuals stepping up in moments. Skulls in the first half, locking things down, finding opening kills. Yakinda now making space towards outside. Kadian with a clutch. That twist factor. He's not here just yet, but he always steps up in the biggest of moments. Now in overtime, I'm sure it's the Canadian's moment. First to 16. 15, 15, we do it all again. Finance is no longer a problem for FaZe. Look at that immediately. Robs knows the answer to that smoke. It's got Brokey as well, positioned accordingly. Raffle through a lot of U2 early phase. You're right. Smoking a molly. All that really remains. Aggression towards lobby again. This time, oh. Carrigan should have had him on a silver platter. Oh. Oh. Started pre-firing, spamming through the wall with twists. 99. 99. You've got to do 100. I think Carrigan was licking his chops there. Got him in the pit. Might be a little bit flustered with that. Oh, yeah, that's tilt. That's unadulterated tilt, folks. Across towards secret as well. Can't rotate back. Cadian's watching. Ooh, this slips through. Great awareness from Rain. Brokey's orb up to the plate. Sit up. Not ready for that at all, was Yakinda. Now Brokey's noted. Surely you can use that low HP on Twist. Brokey's actually bringing the fight to them. Good timing for this. Yeah. He'll be able to confirm that this is nothing but deception. 25 seconds. He's not hearing. He's not seeing anything. Frozen. Is the bomb going up the vent. He's ready. That's the plan. 
This is ugly. Frozen can have them both here. Tries the wall back, goes down. No trade, Frozen aware. And no one looking, it's too easy. Carrigan, he looked frustrated, but his team, they're motivated to close. 13 on the board, a convincing one. And Liquid, I don't think any of them were even looking in the right direction. I think Twist ran out of ammo there as well. He started spamming, it looked like he pulled from the clock. He knew what was up. Great awareness. Okay. A swing and a miss. Uh, even a bit of a gift on the opener. Yeah, and there's that frustration from Carrigan. He's definitely not hitting the shots he was throughout the group stage at the moment. At the moment, though, the key sentence. Your kid has been called off of yard control because of the deep in century. And they've been able to fortify Rain and Brokey ready to lock this down. How does this go down? Yukinda, audible. Silo occupied, Yukinda, testing Brokey and immediately sent to the Shadow Realm. Oh, but Cadian, despite the flash, has managed to pull it back, taking down the rival author. It's a just one off. Oh no, Cadian, he nearly lost his life there, punished for an overextension. He was trying to line up Util. We've got a 4v4 here, full 60 seconds. Nav continues to test the Rob's hold. Yeah, passive behind the box, Rain to join him. Oh, important info play from Frozen. We'll be able to call Yard completely clear. But pressure then on Carrigan, who's opting for the Org. You can tell that's a sign he's been struggling. Yeah, Might catch a player on the roof, is Frozen. Yeah, there it is. Big flank. Carrigan, only the one. It's Nav and Skulls, both of them performing. To be. Makes a lot of sense. They're not making any secret of the descent. Props is here. They're not expecting him. He gets the smoke down. Oh, he's not ready for this at all. Nav looked foolish there. It's Rops to catch him. And with 15 seconds and a bullet between the eyes, we have 14. After both teams finding the lion's share of their rounds on the T side, it seems FaZe have really tightened things up into OT. It was the finances that really had them down the stretch, right? Not being able to get full util, not being able to have the AWP and broke his hands. A situation now where Carrigan is able to operate with rifles as opposed to SMGs. Think about all the rounds on the CT side, he had to operate with MP9s. And don't so forget, there's the change for FaZe. Frozen as well seems to have had a, a little bit of a rise in form uh, upon arrival here in Chengdu. The phases top performers at this tournament. Oh, I, I don't think you can turn to Cadian again for another impactful round. The saved AWP round and then the 2v4 on the orb. I think he's done his part. It has to be someone else. I mean, there's so many candidates for it. It does, however, look like these last couple of rounds, it's just been a bit, bit off. Last chance on the T side to just put up some resistance. Otherwise, phase they could close it in the first round of their T side. Have three opportunities to do so. His pace, they're trying to test him. And Skulls has gotten himself down the vent. That is promising. Wall of Smoke's erected. Skulls, oh, he's not ready for this at all. Robs is already here. Thank you very much. Spamming the smokes. How are they getting away with this? They're not. Oh, wow. Oh, Nav commits to the spray. He's punished for it. Well, we've seen one of these. Rob's in a bit of a signature position. Yeah, he was down there so early. It's really perfect considering the early vent dive. Already being on these side rafters. Not a, a fun clear for your kinder. He's going to be coming out of this one worried about everything. Here's Ropsy. Kinder underneath him. He might him. get him on the clear, actually. This is good pathing from Yakinda. Really nice. Just let him work, Yakinda. He's pulled out the first. Oh, oh, no. Disastrous. Yakinda had to hit that one. Kadian, what have you got for us? Brokey can take him down right here. Oh, right now. No, Brokey fumbles. Kadian, what have you got? No way. It's rain to close. Brokey's going to be happy with that. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> what is going on? 
a half-life given to uh, <laughs> Kadian for a moment to get the engine started. And you kinder, bro, your nose is next to the screen. you got to hit those. Yeah, uh, the, the pathing was beautiful. That felt like it should have been his kill every can, day of the week. Take a breath. And there's a, a smile on Brokey. You don't see that every day of the week. Take a minute. Take a breath. Great quick scope. If he gets the, if he gets the no scope yeah. there onto Rain, you oh, know. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> so we seem to miss smokes, miss shots. It's a quarterfinal, folks. I'm missed in here right now from Twist, just sorting out a quick tech issue. About lunchtime over there in Europe. Oh, nice. So everybody should be waking up, getting themselves into some Counter-Strike and or taking it in. It's Kadian. Start of the event not feeling very well. Hopefully on the mend. And an upswing in performance. Liquid uh, certainly hasn't been fantastic missing out on the major. The G2 win was great. Right? That's, that, that's a great one for the confidence in terms of a spark that you're looking for to get the team activated. Cool it takes around here. Kind heart. No, it's kind eyes and an open heart. Kind Best eyes, up motto, yeah. open heart. Kind eyes, open heart. He's stealing Carrigan's shtick. Yeah, well, he learned from the best. Yeah, exactly. Well, well, well. A lot to do here. A flawless CT side. Chad, they need to get... <laughs> See, Kraken just has to wave. Yeah. But they need to get what they got in 12 in just three. Does that make sense? I see what you're saying. You see what I'm trying to say? Well, if we reflect on that first half, I believe I said every round that Skulls got the opening kill, they converted. Okay, so Skulls just needs to get three opening frags. In back-to-back-to-back -back back -back -back rounds. In back-to-back. being their top side anchor. So they are just going to have to do three top plays, I assume. I would assume. That would be the, the only way they could really pull that one off. We do have Anubis up next. Yeah. I think the fact that Liquid have brought this back gives a bit more confidence to the longevity of the series. At 1.9 to 3 uh, on their CT side, you thought this one would likely be over. A quick 2-0. This might be a... Larger tech issue than initially understood. So we've received word. It seems he's uh, just getting one channel, one audio towards one ear. I would be struggling to play too. I would certainly be struggling. That's it. about like nuke. Yeah, yeah. So that's worth taking a look at. We've got the best in the biz on it. This is not just a monitor change, though. That's when you need to get out uh, a few more pieces. I think that says kind eyes, open heart. Exactly. He's doing it again. He might tire him out. <laughs> I mean, he has certainly put on a show already. Star jumps with Kadian. Certainly, we've got the, the showman on the stage head to head here. Just has to raise his eyebrows. It is. Yeah. It's like a Cabri's ad. It's a flex. But it's very interesting to see how uh, how the fandom has uh, blossomed here in China. The players, they are getting so much attention. I've seen fans when, as I left in the morning, and the same fans have been waiting oh, as, yeah. as I got home after the ship. Yeah. Just camping out. So you cool gotta make to sure you, you deliver your letters. Yes, I have got. I've got handwritten letters for each individual member of Phase Clan given to me by fans. It's, it's my responsibility to deliver them. I thought you wrote them. Not personally, but dude, they've even done like wax seals on the back of the yeah. envelope. I've okay. never done a wax seal. Oh, that's 
It's an interesting request. Not sure about that one. I have good news, everybody. What is that, Dr. Farnsworth? We're going to a planet to deliver a package. <laughs> well, we got a robot to help us. Yeah, it's FaZe that are delivering a package. They've got three opportunities to get it down and pick up the round. Starting with the orb towards the top side, but is Kavian going for anything cheeky? Robs is throwing out his signature top side util. Is he going to move on this? He wants to get it done. Why not take a couple of calculated risks? As Cadian's Orb is there. Oh, and so is the frag from Robs. He could get them both. Skulls asleep. Still adjusts. It's a three on two here. Brokey out to the top side. Twist. Swan. It's frozen to Clutch. He could do it. Yukinda holds the wolf from the door. Comms must have been all over the shop. That's there for Skulls looked. to be coming out of heaven, not acknowledging that trade potential. What's Cadian saying? Okay, well, there's one CT round. Can Liquid match their regulation CT Hall? Double orb, Naf. With an AWP in the mix. I like that in terms of FaZe's call perhaps being disrupted by the surprise of a second. He's throwing different looks. He's taking it towards the ramp side. And Rob's going through his normal procedures. It's going to be interesting to see if he acknowledges the potential. It's overall more of a normal round. Glass was the top pop. It drops out squeaky. This is Rain on his traditional progression. Rops is quite chained. Oh, the tension. <laughs> He's not giving him anything. It's a lot of responsibility on Rops in these default rounds, isn't it? Yeah, to also make sure that you have a variation of how you anchor down towards lobby. You can't just keep doing the same and same. Yeah, re molly it. So the smokes. Could be starting to fade. They only have one left on Brokey. They've had to flash and go. Ooh, and the bomb is across. And they go. Sendiri was late. I think it is key that Brokey is one of the individuals down towards Secret. That smoke that I mentioned could be used to help them facilitate an entry in towards the site if Rops can't find any room. 45 seconds. Well, I like this setup, though, because it means Naf not only gets the info, but he's got his back covered by Skulls. Are they, are, they, are they considering a pivot? You got 30 seconds, so twists. Cadian top site. Really meant to top? No, okay, decon. They, this will be the smoke. Flash and go. Now, no opportunity for a shot here. Fires off a warning shot. Carrigan actually finding twists as well. This is looking like it could be the end. Double lobby look though. Oh, but Robs. Skulls caught off. It's up to Yakinda and Cadian now. Face. Two frags away, taking their map pick. Liquid certainly putting up resistance, putting up a fight, but now it looks like it's all done right here. Rob's another. Such impact. 25 frags, and there we have it. Map one in the bag for FaZe Clan. We'll see you on Anubis.